Hey, what's up? This problem we have the integral of the cotangent of x times the cosine squared of x. Solution. So what I'm thinking here um, is the cotangent of x is kind of a problematic piece. So maybe a good first step is to eliminate the cotangent and write it in terms of sine and cosine. So cotangent of x can be written as cosine of x over sine x. And then here we still have the cosine squared of x dx. All right, let's think here for a minute. So we could combine the cosine squared and the cosine, right? That, that could work. Um, that would give us cosine cubed. But what would we do after that? So we would have, let's think here, cosine cubed over sine. So if we let u be sine in this case, um, what would happen is du would be cosine, and we'd still have some cosines upstairs. So I'm thinking um, the following. We let u be sine. This piece here, the cosine x and the dx, that's going to be our du. And we write cosine here in terms of sines. And that should work. So let me show you what I mean first. Let's rewrite this piece here in terms of sines. So this is going to be cosine x over sine x. And then cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared x. Okay, That's an identity. If you have sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, then cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. It's 1 minus the other 1 squared. All right, so now if we let u be sine x, then du is cosine x dx. And things work out nicely, right? Because that what happens is we have cosine x dx. That's our du. Then we have 1 minus u squared. So it's 1 over u, 1 minus u squared. Okay? Now we can distribute the 1 over u. So this becomes 1 over u minus, and then u squared over u is just u. Du. And then we can integrate. So when you integrate 1 over u, you get uh, natural log, absolute value of u. But we said u was sine x. And then when you integrate this one, you use the power rule. So u squared over 2. But we said u was sine x. So sine squared x over 2 plus c. Let me go over that again really briefly. Let's say you're here. And let's say you rewrite it like this. Cosine cubed x sine x dx. If you know some stuff, like if you know uh, there's a rule, it says if you have uh, powers of sine and cosine, save a copy of the one that's being raised to the odd power. That would tell you to say, hey, wait a minute, I want to save a copy of cosine, because cosine, it's cosine cubed. So 3 is odd, so you save a cosine. Well, we're saving a cosine. That means u is going to be sine, so that du is cosine x dx. So what does that mean? That means you have to write this piece in terms of sines. Let's just do it again. Why not? So 1 minus sine squared over sine x. And then here you have cosine x dx. And same thing. This ends up being 1 minus u squared over u du. Boom, there it is. So just a different way to think about it. I kind of rushed it because we already did the problem. But two different ways to think about it and approach it. The main idea, though, in this problem is that when you see this, um, the cotangent x is problematic. So definitely, definitely, definitely write it in terms of cosine and sine, and then just go from there, and you should be able to figure it out. That's it.